Hello everyone, welcome to the Adoran region. I'm your host Adoran himself, back with another episode of Pokemon Violet, already in progress. We're currently looking out of a cliff. If you're not sure why, you can check out the previous episode or all the episodes by checking out the playlist in the description down below. While you're down there, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those things you have to do when supporting a YouTube channel. Spoilers in 3, 2, 1. There's a cave here. Did you know? Uh, the cave here is where we got the second Herba Mystica and our fourth Titan... Not our fourth Titan, sorry. Our fourth badge. Uh, our second Titan is completed. We are two gym badges and two Titans in. So, uh, that in combination with the fact that Nurse Joy actually tells us some information, why don't we actually follow what Nurse Joy's opinion is? So, what Nurse Joy at least said, and we can go over back to the Pokemon Center because I need to heal anyway, uh, what Nurse Joy suggested was that we go face Team Star and the first Team Star item, uh, first Team Star Team Leader, uh, which I believe is the Dark type one. Uh, before we do that though, I'm going to do a little bit of exploration. By exploration, I mean uh, Mariah down here is going to jump off a cliff and see where we land. Any uh, any interesting things to land on, though? There's... That's either... I think that's a terror rate thing, right? Yellow is the terror rate color. There's something way out there. Well, that could also be a terror rate. You know what? Let's just jump. There's a Pokemon Center here, right? All right. And away we go! That worked about as well as I expected. And we jump again. Oh man, this is gonna be insane. Oh wait, that wasn't as that big of a jump. I mean, that was a huge jump, not gonna lie, but... Um, I can't tell if that's a Mon. Actually, while we're at it, we might as well grab this Pokeball wall here. What is this? Oh, there's a Fampy here? Oh, did everyone heal up after the bat? Oh, okay. Never mind, forget that. Uh, let's just, uh... I'm running into Fampy's left and right. Um, let's go down to the Pokemon Center just to confirm Nurse Joy's opinion here. Because uh, at this point, I'm just following what Nurse Joy has to say. Because uh, she knows what she's talking about. At least that's what I'm going with. Also, there's a Nugget there, which is very nice. Uh, pop down over here. Grab this as well. It's a Timid Mint. Interesting. Uh, I also am curious about what this is. So let's pop down here real quick. Okay, that is a Terror Rate. Uh... The Pokemon Center was over here. Right, let's just follow that. Uh, I know there's a Numble over there. We'll go grab Swablu's here as well. Okay. I'm almost positive that's the next Titan thing, but uh, we're just going to pretend like I didn't see that. Gonna, all right. I know we keep uh, straying away from things here, but let's grab this TM. That's low sweep. Grab this pretty feather. There's a bunch of numbles and stuff. I'm going to go see what this is, which is a Terra thing. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Time to just fly out of here. We, we don't got time for all this. Um, let's just head here for now. Hi, Nurse Joy. Can you uh, talk to me here? Uh, where to go? What do you suggest? Recommend next destination for you. Make for the layer of the ground type Titan. The Quaking Earth Titan. Okay. I did say we're going to follow what Nurse Joy has to say. Though, at least according to this, that's a mid-game item according to my list here. So I'm not sure. You know what? Uh, I know we said we were going to follow Nurse Joy, but Nurse Joy, uh, at least according to the advice that uh, she's giving, would have us do a late-game thing now. So let's not do that. <laughs> and instead, let's just follow our normal path. So uh, I know we've been saying that previously, but I'm scared of that. So, hmm. No, let's follow the list. I think... Because I was discussing this with uh, a friend of mine previously, and he also mentioned that the late game... or that the, that Titan would be probably more of a late game item. Alright, let's zoom out and out again. Next thing on the list is the Dark Star Folk. Which would be this, okay. Uh... So, I know we went, we went through a little mini saga there, but I think, after all, we will follow the uh, the list I got online. Um, Business Joy has not given advice that is particularly fantastic. So, Starfall Street, Dark Crew Base, Storming the Dark Crew's Base, Giacomo, the Sagan Squad, boss of Team Star's Dark Crew. Since he only recently began training Dark-type Pokemon, he's not too much challenge in battle. He used to be a straight-laced star student, but certain events set him on a very different path. We are going to set this as our destination instead. And it looks like we're heading that way. Actually, let me check that map one more time. 
is up here. We haven't visited that one yet. Is there any closer path to get there? We haven't been there. We haven't been there. This is against the ocean. Yep. All right. So it looks like we got to leave from here and head on that way. So away we go. Uh, let us move on out of here. There we go. Let's speed up a bit. Uh, as we're heading along the path, as always, uh, if I find some interesting Pokemon, at least for the first half, we'll just catch any old thing. Uh, and then we'll slow down over time. We need to be going this way. Where am I going? Hold it up. Back up. We need to be going over the hill. Ah, Jurat. Um. Alright, let's jump. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. This way we go. I just ran into a rock rock. I need to battle you. We gotta find our way up and around. Oh, can't get that high. At least in a new route, which is always nice, because then we can grab some uh, new items. Well, at least we're able to be on the water right now, so why don't we use that to our advantage here? Uh, not for Tadbolt, so. Oh, I guess that's fun. There's a little flotation device. Basculin fans. Fangs. Alright, let's continue going around the river. I think this would help us? That's a good question. Is this even going to lead us on the right path? Because we are heading up there. This isn't going to help us at all. What? Where am I going? Alright. What is the nearest Pokemon Center that I have been to already? The ones back here. I'm currently heading down south to Mezagoza. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's head in the opposite direction. See if we can get there any quicker. Away we go. Along the way, let's see if we can find anything of interest. So I know eventually, I think up here, there's a waterfall, right? There's some basculins. I probably could have caught one of those. Let's actually use this as an opportunity to get on the dry land because there's that waterfall I was talking about. There's a Swablu, actually. Well, alright. As I was trying to get that Pokeball, Swablu showed up. Let's get a better view here. There we go. I don't think you've become a Dragon type yet, so let's go over and incinerate. Hopefully this doesn't knock you out. Perfect. Missed. Uh, let's go and go for the Great Ball. Just straight up. Right here. And that's caught. Perfect. Uh, gain some experience points here. Number 219, Swablu, the Cotton Bird Pokemon, a normal flying type. It can't relax if it or its surroundings are not clean. Wipes out dirt with its wings. No nickname here. To the box you go. Swablu's always a fun Pokemon. Nelteria is very good as well. Grab this. I guess we might as well jump back in the water. Oh, uh, or not. Okay, yeah, let's just go over here. Charge into the the waterfall, I guess. It's gonna work. Can we charge into the waterfall? How bad of an idea is this? Uh, okay. Guessing that's a no. Let's pop up here instead. Where is it? There are so many folks here. Alright, excuse me, pardon me. That's not what I wanted. Just trying to grab this, that's all. Fresh water, very nice. Okie doke. Let's head up this way. And get around. Okay, so we can take the right here. I think this is potentially a different path. At the very least, uh, we'll eventually be taking the different path. Because there's, ah, uh, yeah. Because we took the left for the Titan. So let's take the right here. Cross the bridge. And head on out. Where is this? Casa... Casa... Cara? Casa... Car? There's Pokemon Center there. There we go. Now we're making progress. Along the way, I'm just scanning for any new mons, or any interesting mons, or just mons in general. Hello? Anyone? Besides that, uh, Mudbray down there? It was carrying a coin. I guess that's referring to, like, the gimmick. Uh, I don't think we've gotten Numble yet, but... Pop up over here. Have we actually needed? No. Okay. Uh, we could probably catch. Uh, not catch. We could probably buy some stuff as well. But let's go see. Have I caught a numel yet? Not yet. All right. Let's go catch this real quick. A great ball here. Now that we've done a couple of bites. And that's caught.
Uh, Nummel's data added. Number 151, Nummel, the Num Pokemon, a fire ground type. The flaming magma it stores in the hump on its back is the source of its tremendous power. No nickname here. I think everything in the vicinity we have caught, or at least attempted to catch. Uh, and away we go. Continuing on our journey here. There is something over there. Though that also reaches the... The area of town I'm not particularly invested in right now. Let's grab this. Looks like there's a phone call and also some stuff. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this uh, I take it this means you've decided to join my operation. I guess so. Yeah, I'm not too confident about this. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? Yeah, who are you? The name's Clive. Oh? And how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Adore? I guess maybe? <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. Is Clive the guy that we met previously? Because I forgot what voice I gave him. Uh, I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? I need to get this voice to as close as, like, the Siri, Alexa, that sort of voice. Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll be... You'll defeat the... Uh, then, you'll defeat the bosses of the team, and put an end to their rule. Put, put an end to their rule? You mean we need to house these bosses from their rule somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. I'm guessing that's the gate of the fences here? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. You can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Now this isn't quite it. I'll get there eventually. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Adurin. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happened. Please. I know this isn't going to be right. But please tell me there is an option where I take over Team Star and just raid the world. Something like that. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they'd get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Adoran. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base, and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. Gotcha. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. All right. And what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as a Duran support. You're a cautious one, all right? I respect that. I'll, I'll find a voice for Clive. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. So have that, like, weird tone and everything. Anyway... Well, go get him, Adorn. Director Clavel. Oh, that's why. You're, you're faking the look of the... Yeah, I got you. I have no idea what you mean. 
But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, Director Clavel! I'm dumb. It's the, the, the guy who gave us the starter. That's why he's got the gray. All right. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. That took me way too long to realize. Uh, of course it's Clavel. There's a, there's a guy with each of the missions, right? It's Nimona with the gym badges. It's Arvin with the Titans. And Clavel's the one that overheard the conversation. He knows about this. Also, it's becoming dusk. I think earlier. Um, all right, what's the squad looking like? Ready? Time to charge on in. Let's do this. Hey, what's up? Got a one-man army here. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa. Hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operation for Team Star's Dark... Ah, uh, well, there's gonna be too many grunts to worry about this. You may know us as the Sagan Squad. Yep, and we don't take kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Random kids. I'll have you know, in about 25 minutes, I'm gonna be running this thing. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Miko, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. What's going on a hunch here? But are you that Adoran kid? That's right. You know that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? That's right. Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he said. Cool as a cucumber. Honesty is not always the best policy, you know. My friends, I don't think you understand. I'm here to declare war on you. And I decided to do this by myself. Let's not talk about the rest of the people. By myself. Do you understand the power that I hold here? You know what? It doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. They just don't get it. They just don't get it. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Come on. Come at me. God, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped in the dirt. They just don't get it. All right. Well, if they don't get it, then I guess we've got to show them exactly what we can do. Come on, Crocolor. Let's show them what we got here. Uh, Gust, sizable damage, sure. Burn. Did it show what level it was? It's 19, okay. I don't think you understand. When I said burn, I mean burn. Down goes Murkrow. And that's a boost here, some level ups for Tadpole and, uh, for Tadpole, for Tadpole and, uh, and Astley. And such a sassy kid have to be so strong. Thank you for the money. I wonder how the money system works, because I don't think, like, grunts would, like, follow the rules properly. Do they throw the money in, like, the middle of the pot or something like that? Like, they set it aside, and if you if you win, you can you can walk forward and take it. Is there, like, some sort of policy here? Or do you, like, put a bet electronically, and then when you lose, your funds are, like, wired? Anyway, never mind. How could, how could I lose? Well, whatever it is, it's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista, star. Hasta la beat star. We'll just run away. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. My bad. That's on me. Well, I'm going to go in the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. All good. I like how it's like, yeah, we're going to fight. Sees me molly -wop that grunt. Look, man, it's not me. I apologize for her attitude. Like, she's new to the team. She doesn't really quite get it yet. It's, it's, you know, it's just one of those things. All right. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning. I can imagine. I know this is supposed to be, like, threatening, but it'd be great if it's just like, look, I, I got to tell you the details here. Here are the things. Uh, we'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider, and this is a quote from the documents we read, uh, Turning Tale. Um, either way, best of luck to you, Amigo. I appreciate it. Shout out to you. Um, I'm going to go inside and tell them. Good news. Uh, if you could do me a favor, just wait a couple minutes uh, before you come barging in. Uh, we still need the uh, the attitude. I appreciate that, but, uh, like, we, we just, uh, we, we gotta prepare, you know what I mean? Uh, we know that you were coming, we weren't expecting you to come at night, right? Like, I thought this was gonna be a morning thing, but, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Understandable, completely. Uh, appreciate it. Just a couple minutes. Ah, uh, Sela V-Star. Adios. And then just walks away. Hey, guys! Uh, that adorant guy's here. Sup? I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now... Hold up in that base is Team Star Star Crew, the Sagan Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs all of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have him ruffled in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. 
Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Sagan Squad off the map. Alright, let's do this. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go grab this while we got the chance here. If only I could use Maridon. Just walk in with the Legendary. Also, we can't see over them. That's a shame. Um, Alright. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Oh! Interesting. We can only bring a specific... Alright, hold up. We can only bring a specific squadron into the group. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, no, we can heal direct. Ah, it doesn't make a difference. Let's, we got 46 potions. Uh, let's use this as here as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I just haven't looked at. Um, okay. Who are we bringing in? All I know is that you've got Murkrow and it's dark types. That's actually incredibly useful. Now that I think about it, it's a dark type team. So if we bring in a bunch of Pokemon that can beat up on dark types, then that's the idea, right? It's disappointing that I've got to look this up, but what's weak to dark? What does dark lose to? Uh, generation 6 onwards. Defensively, it loses to bugs, fairies, and fightings. Okay, Fido is definitely showing up. Bugs, fairies, and fightings. Um, well, I'm going to actually, just for this... I don't know why I'm moving you guys down. Uh, I'm not going to use Crocolure in this. I think we've used Crocolure for basically the entire game so far. It's time to use some other Pokemon while we've got the chance here. Um, preferably the higher leveled ones as well. What are you? You're Psychic type. That's actually terrible. Um, why don't we just go backwards like this? Capsicum is Grass. Uh, nimble. We could use Nimble. Gimme Ghoul would not be good. Cloth is pure rock, Charcot is fire, Mastiff is dark, which isn't going to do much of anything. Small of his grass, Palmy's electric, Tarantula, and Shrew. Okay. Purely based on typing, uh, let's bring in Nimble, because this will be fun. And I still need a third. Let's see. I definitely don't want to be using Ghost or Psychic types. Um... I also don't want to be using dark types, really. Who would be a fun Pokemon to use? Part of me kind of wants to use Flittle, but obviously that's not good for this. Uh, and I don't want to use Crocolore. I think, let's go for the Oinkman. Um, I know you're, you're a normal type, but we do have the fairy type uh, move here. You have no bug type moves, actually. That's kind of rough. Um, but you do have a... Sh actually, hold up. Wait a minute. No, you have the, the double kick. That's fine. Um, and then uh, my doggo here is going to probably be carrying Shrewdle. Tarantula would be the other Pokemon, but we've already got a bug type. And uh, at least me right now, I like Nimble more than Tarantula without knowing much information. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we'll go with this. We'll go with Fido, Nimble, and Oinklone uh, as our three big guys. Uh, Oinklone's just kind of there because look at the man. He's just vibing. Um, and the other two, Fido in particular, being the big uh, hunters of the group. Yeah, let's go with this. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Yes, I am. Let's do this. All right, Fido. Uh, careful now, Adorin. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call, it a, they call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. I'm just looking at my Switch like, which one's the R button? If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The guns you'll be facing will heal their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. I am intrigued at how this is going to go. All right. Beep. Hard drop gang. Some jump drop kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted, unwanted guest, if you could defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss just might just honor you with an appearance. 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes, 3 a minute? Easy. Send out your Pokemon with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of a Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time, which are the first three we got there. You lose in a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide you just want to give up before time runs out, press the Y button. Okay. 
Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. Okay. All right. Let's go. Charge. Where are you going? Come on. Charge at him. Go. Uh, you go here. And you go there. Where are you going? All right. All right, let's move. Over there. Away you go. You take on this guy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, come on, let's move, let's move, let's move. Here, you take on them. You take on this, uh... I'll figure this out. Oh, Fido's just going off, okay. Bingo. Alright, let's move, let's move, let's move. Are you guys all... foes that we gotta worry about? Let's move, let's move, let's move. Uh, actually, is there another one there? Nope, alright. There's a bunch of Zoros there. Can we talk to you guys? Hey. No? Okay. Let's not bother about that. Alright, you take them. You take them. We arrived at our destination. That's great. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, let's move. Alright, uh, that's a terrible matchup, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Alright, down goes Frazier over there. Nimble's down. Um, hey, Fido, do me a favor here and go for this. Fido? You good? Alright, there we go. That'll do something. That does something there. I am not doing this at all proper. Fido, charge! There we go, that's what I like to see. You go there. Come on, Fido. There we go, that's good, good, good shot, good shot, good shot. Four more Pokemon left in seven and a half minutes. I think we got this, guys. There's four right here. Oh, there's Steel types. Do I want to? I actually don't want to get these guys. Let's uh, avoid them real quick. Charge of that. Charge of that. Perfect. Two more. Uh, you know what? We can take the steel types on. Just for, you know, time purposes. Victory! And they just decide to get an extra couple just in case. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Oh my gosh, that is a souped-up vehicle if I've ever seen one. My man, how do you afford this on a student's budget? Of the group? Boss of Team Star Dark Crew, Giacomo. Now I'm wondering if it's if the C is like an S. Anyway. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. A Durin, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck I go by DJ Vice. Yes, perfect. DJ Vice, 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 Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Aw, oh, shoot. He talks like me with saying vibe way too much. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry. I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. I just realized. Is uh, Nimble out? Like, am I going two on three or something like that right now? Or two on six? Who knows what this is? Haha. <laughs> party up. Let's go. Oh, all right, Fido, what's up? You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Yeah, I'll figure. I'm going up against a Steel type right now. Oh, I can use anyone. Can I use anyone? I can use anyone. Oh, you're gonna regret this. I know. I, I know. I said I was gonna use the starter, but apparently, rules change. If I can, I will. Let's do this. Look, if you want to break rules and. Be uh, villainous characters, I know what this is. This beat drop will bust your ears open! DJ Vice, bring in the house! Yo! Metal Claw on me? <laughs> How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crusher. Crasher. Hey. <laughs> oh, you don't understand, do you? When I say burn, I mean... Well, you can hear it as me first. When I say burn, I mean burn. Down goes Parnyard. Sends out Reva Room. Re Reva. Reva Room? There we go. Reva. Reva Room. Reva Voom. There we go. Time you up the tempo. Something that I didn't see properly. Uh... Wait, the car is a Pokemon? Ah, oh, snap. Ah, oh, snap. Um. Wait, how do I know about this stuff? I shouldn't know this. Should I? Have I seen a. I'm so confused right now. Have I seen the car? Bef ah, whatever. Um, you know what? Just for just to be consistent, um, 
right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just to be consistent. Fido, get out there. I know this is probably counterintuitive to everything because because uh, it looks like it's probably weak to a... I don't think it's weak, actually. All right, whatever. Snarl. Damage. Not very effective. Does drop my special attack, though. Lucky for you, uh, I think. Yeah, lucky for you. For me. Lucky for me. Words. You get the gist. Drastalize. Play rough. Let's do this. We're going to crystallize this. Let's go. Fido. Turn into Glass Doggo. Yup, here we go. We got that glass doggo at this point. Metal sound. Lowering my special defense? Are you a special attack? Anyway, play rough. Let's do some sizable damage here. There we go. Super effective. It's not steel type, at least, because I would resist it here. Also, the attack falling is nice. Um, let's keep going. We, we, we got nothing better to do. Let's play rough some more. Swift. Uh, I did not realize that did so much damage, but play rough all the same. Let's go. I get a feeling my doggo is going to go down in a moment. Uh, play rough all the same. Come on. Ah, the Swift's going to knock us out here. That special defense lowering. No, Fido! Oh, you're going to regret that. Let me summon out my... Uh... Do I? Uh, those are all effective. Bite's not very effective. Disarming this is super effective. Super effective. This kind of feels like it's a pure, uh, pure uh, dark type. Cool. Nimble, get out there. I know this is probably counterintuitive to everything, because you're not great. Whatever, let's go for it. Metal sound? Please, we're going to knock you out before you even have a chance, he says, not knowing about anything about Nimble here. But double kick all the same, let's go. That did nothing. Okay, this was a bad decision. <laughs> this was a very bad decision. Um, yeah, it was hit twice. That's great. Uh, this is a terrible decision. Um, I've got the chance. Can you stay alive for this? No, you can't. Nimble, not very nimble. Uh, I set myself up for that one. Um, I don't want to use Crocolor. So, Oink alone, let's go. All right, now let's do some Wicked Torque. What is that? Oh, that's gotta, I, I kind of want this thing now. Um. That did not do a lot, which is not ideal. I've just realized that none of these are stabbed, which is probably why it's not doing anything. Uh, this is continuously doing some damage here. Sorry, boy, some more. All right, you're in the red. My insistence on not using... Ooh, that's an interesting thought. Do we go for Covet? Let's see what Covet does. I don't know if that'll do more or not. You stay alive. That did more. They should have been going for Covet to begin with. Um, unfortunately, I think Oink Alone is down. Another Wicked Torkin. Uh, so, partly because of my decisions, this has not been ideal. And... I don't know which one of you two are faster, but we might as well go for Tad Bulb. Why not? I get the feeling that a car is going to be fast, though. I'm just saying. Um... Let's just go for the stab, Thundershock, see what this does. Snarl does a lot of damage on that crit. And the drop in special attack, which is not ideal when I'm trying to use Thundershock, but let's see. Oh my gosh, it's survived. Are you kidding me? This is going to knock out Tadbolt. And my insistence on not using healing item. Another crit? I know I have Krakula. I know this battle could be so much easier if I just, like, used that. There's no rules in this challenge. It's not even a challenge. It's a regular run-through. Like, I could heal whenever I want, and yet here I am on Pokemon number five, just cuz. Snarl here. Able to hold on to that a little bit. All right, special attack down. Again, not gonna matter when I physically attack with the smackdown. Down it goes. We finally beat a car. You defeated Giacomo, Team Star, finally. That car is busted. Uh, oh no! Great job. And that. Nasty, Nackley, Nackley, whatever. Guess that's that. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I lost! About a year and a half ago. What? Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me my take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? I'll get a Operation Star, first of all. And also... A new code of conduct for the team. You know if tons of new members have joined up recently? 
Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Chiakoma? <laughs> no, thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we knew. You forced us tough, a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, they wouldn't take it. We had some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below their nape and such forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new coat. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, team sergeants wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. The code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now? You'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? Appreciate it, man. Respect. Team Star's Dark Crew has been defeated. We'll give you this choice, TM2. You earned it fair and square. Foul play, a very good move. Turns our target's strength against it. The higher the target attack stat is, the greater this damage the damage this move inflicts. <laughs> so, this is how the party ends. Let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Um... Uh, I know... Uh, I'm, I'm really curious about both of these responses. Um... So I, I feel like yes is going to make him be like, oh, I, maybe I should go back to the cat. And then nope will be like, I'm going to say sure, it might not. Huh. Okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, wasn't make, expecting a grand, a giant pompa to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm assuming that's Quaxwell's evolution somewhere. I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure. I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks. Get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are heading for expulsion if you keep up your current activity. Oh, that's right. He's, like, very stuffy. Uh, more like, you know, a master of doing... Yeah, there you go. That's it. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? <laughs> that's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. But we don't know if they'll be coming back. Well, a close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the ones who invited us other bosses formed a team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? <laughs> Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, it must be a year and a half now. We thought, if the, we thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. The teachers kept pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? <laughs> Is the sky blue? Let me put in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Respect. Another mission completed. Looks like. Adurin, it's me. It seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? Yep. With its boss out of the picture, the Sagan squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. 5,000 LP, that's it? Man, I could open up a, a raid and get 25 on it. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. That's what I like to see. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle cap capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Okay. From the supply unit? Uh, hello. 
I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I, I was glad to help, yeah. I remember. Well, so you do you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, he here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Lots of Pokemon materials. I guess we'll find out what that is in a moment. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll earn more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on your side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good, good luck. Okay, bye. Did I just say your hairstyle's really cool? Okay, she's gone. Uh, okay, so a bunch of stuff just happened there. Um, let's wait for the updates of items, maybe? No? No item list? Alright, I guess we'll probably find that. Uh, in a moment, that ends this episode. Another item in the books. We've now completed another badge. Um, as mentioned earlier in the episode, we're going to switch over to sticking with what my list is, because Nurse Joy is throwing us into Titan matches that, according to the list at least, we wouldn't be able to do, and according to a friend of mine that uh, discussed things as spoiler-free as possible, I wouldn't be able to do, probably, maybe, we'll see. Nevertheless, sticking to the list. Uh, so, next time we figure out what's next on the list, uh, I could tell you right now, but then, why wouldn't you click on the next episode? So, thank you everyone for listening, watching, supporting, in any way, shape, or form that you do with the great channel that is the Adoran region, if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all those things to do that you can do to support a YouTube channel. I said that in the beginning, and I'm saying that again. Until next time, everyone, take care.